people think it's about having the names. It isn't. It's actually about having a, a quality of acting that gives the the animation team something to work with and something to to embody and 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 to literally to animate. And we had such lovely extremes from Hughes' dry, sort of sardonic delivery to the, the menace of, of David Thewlis to the sort of chirpy, plucky uh, Amelia Clark, who's not going to let anything get in her way. Gemma Arterton playing Peaches with all the sort of innocence in the world is just so lovely. Arian Bakari as, as, as Dark Tan, the sort of military leader of the rats. David Tennant and his wisdom uh, in, in playing Dangerous Beans. And all of those things you can hear in the voices, and that's why it's really important when you choose voices. Um, so the cast performance has a huge, huge impact. When I read the script, um, I felt Keith was a bit flat for me. There was something lacking. And all of a sudden, when Himish um, brought his, I don't know, vulnerability and, I don't know, this sort of um, awkwardness to it. I, I really felt it kind of brought it to another level. When I started working on how to bring Keith to life, as it were, vocally, um, I did have to think about his physicality, even though, you know, no one's going to be seeing any of that. Obviously, his sort of nervous disposition was something that I wanted to work on in terms of the register of his voice. But also a lot of it was working with Toby and, and the team and sort of them telling me what they needed. It was the first time that I've done uh, an animated film. What I learned was that you have to really go over the top more than you would, hopefully, <laughs> when you're acting in front of a camera. Maurice! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. You need so much range and tonality in the voice for, for everyone to then animate too. And, um, and that was something I had to sort of push myself to get to, I think. Hey, what's this? Kill a lot? Mm. That sounds bad. So the way that I prepared my Melissa voice, it was less about her timbre and more about the speed in which she talks and, like, when she gets excited, what does she do? And, and when we got to the recording studio, as often happens, there is a kind of, like, no, but sound like you. <laughs> Like, don't be anyone else, though. Like, do do sound identifiable as you, as Amelia. What? Who's to say a narrator can't also appear in the story she's telling? But honestly, it just came out. Like, it often happens when I'm reading something, a voice will just come out and you're like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that works. That's That seems right. Maybe you're just the sympathetic friend who serves as a sounding board to help me resolve my ethical dilemmas. Bringing Nourishing to Life was extremely hilarious, actually. I worked very closely with Toby, and when I say closely, he was literally in the booth with me on an iPad because, as you know, it was COVID times, um, so he couldn't be there in person, but it was actually great to have him in the booth with me because that never happens. Normally they're in another room and you have to wait the silence while you wait, and then you hear the voice going, now, could you try it like this? It was great because he could just talk to me <laughs> with all the facial expressions and everything. I was trying uh, lots of different voices at first and then we settled on one particular one. And, uh, yeah, just making ridiculous noises in a room. I couldn't believe that that's what I do for a living. So, yeah, it was great. Sardines, here I come! I, I, oh, you! I thought that I would... He's, you know, strong, authoritative. So finding that voice, I was thinking, what, what would I do? To find that voice, so I went for a real kind of gravelly, deeper voice uh, to kind of to, to to embody the character. But then I found there's another softer side, which was more vulnerable, slightly a bit more sensitive. Especially when he found that found his friends were in trouble, so you you kind of wanted a more conversational kind of voice for that. So I'd go for a softer tone. Um, and then it was great direction from Toby, so I was really I was quite easily guided into this. <laughs> 